Welcome back guys, it's CryptoRocco here and today it's not just a technical analysis video I'm going to share with you a live trade that I've just done and it is quite profitable and I've, I've actually tweeted about it when I took this trade and it is the XRP trade that I've been talking about in my previous video so you, I'm sure you'll enjoy that but as usual guys I'm going to talk about the big 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 bitcoins and also talk about the two popular coins as well tron is a popular coin a lot of my subscribers want to know about so i'm going to talk about bitcoin ethereum xrp litecoin and trx and i'll also talk about a live trade that i took as well so guys without further ado let's get into the video so bitcoin and cryptocurrency kind of went down last night and it's, it's in this like little wedge if you want to call it and it's in this pattern and, and currently there is some upward movement a small bullish movement Um, it's not I wouldn't buy at this point but you could some people you could have bought at this point RSI was quite oversold and you could hope to get to this top level and it, it is kind of maintained this so this is where we're looking at now guys and um, if you are away if you're if you're not close watching the uh, charts like I am you could probably set a stop loss around this level or or just set an alarm at this level and then get out if, if it breaks that level but um, yeah there's not much happening in Bitcoin really it's kind of moving sideways and moving up in the short term guys we could see this kind of moving averages crossover and it could like I said go up to the above trend line but unless it goes above that level I'm not really interested in buying and even if it goes above this level guys there's a big resistance level above it so um, it could potentially hit there the 7000 level but that's far away guys we'll have to see how it goes um, if it can get above the 50% level then we could potentially see this we need to look at um, the moving averages and then also the volume and the price action but this is kind of what's happening there's not much to report in the longer time frames guys what we are looking uh, for is let's get rid of this Fibonacci levels in the longer time frame guys I'm currently um, it's the same as before guys we're still uh, in a downward movement as from before we need to make sure we hold these resistance level and currently we're in our inside uh, is an inside bar forming and previously in the XRP guys when the inside bar broke we saw a massive upward movement so potentially we could see that in in Bitcoin upward or downward we'll have to see and ha to see how it plays out so there's not much going on guys I'll enjoy your weekends you don't ha you don't have to be sad and look at charts like me uh, throughout the throughout the whole weekend so you can go out and about and do and enjoy your weekend I'm sure you've definitely earned it and in ethereum guys it's, uh, it's similar to to bitcoin um what we are looking at is kind of the longer term um is is the the trend lines this trend lines you could look at them guys the main thing i'm looking at is this 236 level higher highs um so if it breaks this trend line we could see some resistance around here it's not just a previous high resistance it's also the 236 fib level of let me show you from where it is uh, i've drawn it so in the previous high the 236 fib level if it goes above it uh, you could expect it to go here and feel some resistance about the 300 level but again these are big numbers that i'm talking about but we need to go above it break this trend line this trend line looked like it was going to break but i'm not sure if it will uh, we'll have to see how it plays out again guys there's not a trade in ethereum yet that i'll weigh and um, if it breaks above this level and um, um there's good price action volume i might look to buy it but currently guys rsi is, is going above uh, making highs now so ethereum just wait and see what happens in the shorter time frame you can go into the shorter time frame to find some trades but I prefer the trades to come to me rather than look for trades but there's there's not much to talk about in Ethereum um, like Bitcoin is going sideways e equilibrium pattern now it comes to the main one that I want to talk about guys and again I'm quite happy about it because I have tweeted about it before it broke out and and you can see um, check the time when i tweeted it and uh, i i said uh, this is the position that i'm getting into good risk to reward guys and i have taken my profit you could st some people are still hold holding i've taken uh, i've sold and got 50 percent out and uh, in, um, up 
put my stop loss, moved my stop stop loss higher, and it was a good trade, guys. And I, I talked about it in my video yesterday, where I talked about X Rapids to launch, and I did a bit of a technical analysis on on that video. You could go and watch that to to find out uh, the psychology behind this trade. But it was basically two inside bar, and there's a trend line. There's a lot of there's um. I've got rid of the Fibonacci levels guys but on the Fibonacci level there was some con confluence as well on, on this breakout so there was a lot of things that was going for it the moving averages were kind of jumbled up so there's uh, there was a lot of positives to look at and this inside bar break moved higher and um, I sold around I'll show you exactly because some people say I don't take these trades I actually trade guys I don't just make videos uh, I got in about four uh, five four one exactly when I tweeted about it this trading signal and then I sold around five six seven about decent five percent profit as you can see it went higher up then it, it went actually below probably where I sold it I'm not sure how how far down it went i actually see it going up i think it will carry on going up but we'll have to see um i'm not going to jump into another trade because there is resistance here so i'll see if it closes above this if it closes above this i would look to get into another trade and there's potential resistance here as well so um, I could look into getting another trade because XRP is definitely one of the stronger ones um, out of all the coins really there are a couple of other coins that are strong but XRP is very strong and I am looking out for XRP so yeah if you've played this trade you could sell half of it and then so I've sold half uh, half of my position and I'm looking to I've moved my stop loss up so this is that's what I'm trying to play at you could um, sell and be happy with a five percent profit if you are a hodler long term hodler um do you th again if you if you watch my other videos where I talk about kind of the fundamentals a bit uh which is not technical analysis, so you could watch those videos and you could dollar cost average although it's gone up massively if you believe x rapids are gonna be launched and it's gonna be huge, then you could just dollar cost average and buy but this is more technical analysis video guys, so this is what I'm looking at in x r p so i'm gonna wait guys there's going to be a pullback whenever it moves away so far away from the moving averages there's always a pullback um I think it could maybe pull back to around this level again and um, this is kind of a bullish candle so maybe we could see higher um, and maybe a double top and see if we break that level so that's what I'm looking at guys um, in XRP guys Again, you can see the pullback was to a, a moving average. So yes, it, technical analysis does work, guys. So I mean, I'd, I could have actually got in that trade and we could move up. And it's not massive gains, but it could move up to here, and then we'll see how that plays out. So that's XRP, Litecoin. Um, Litecoin is also probably better than Bitcoin and Bitcoin and Ethereum it, you can see it's more consolidating it's not as good the the, the pattern for Litecoin um, is better than Ethereum and um, um, Bitcoin but it's not as good as a uh, good old XRP which I'm sure a lot of my subscribers are massive XRP fans and they should be happy about it so if XRP keeps breaking higher and higher we could see some good action for XRP Litecoin is um, it's in an up word this parallel channel guys and it, it is forming higher highs Um, you can see the Fibonacci the Fibonacci level has been maintained quite well so there it kind of stopped at the 50% level then it scrolled down it moved up so it's, it's in this channel now it's had a fairly bullish can candle on the on the um, on the from the moving averages guys so we'll see if it sees higher I, I think it could go up to this uh, 886 level 786 level Um and then yeah that's where we are now with litecoin i, I won't jump in this trade uh, there's not a trade here at the moment on the shorter time frame guys you can always go in and, and find trades but and um, it depends so xrp i was looking looking out for it and it played out uh, currently litecoin is not uh, i'm not looking for a trade in litecoin you could pro probably have played this kind of um break of this trend line I suppose but it wouldn't have been as good of a profit and they're not as reliable if you know what I mean um, I wouldn't have traded that but you could go into shorter time frames and look for um, some more trades Tron another video uh, another coin that is quite popular on my channel so Tron is similar to Bitcoin and Ethereum it's not as uh, well XRP is the m the most bullish one litecoin is okay it's forming higher highs tron is more similar to bitcoin and ethereum it's kind of this wedge pattern is in the equilibrium pattern pattern and we hope to see it will stay in between it if you go into the shorter time frame guys 
then you could potentially look at some trades so i i it needs to uh, uh, tron needs to hold these levels tron needs tron cannot break this if it breaks this then it could probably you could see a bounce off this level so i'm looking at tron to hold these levels and also it's a 236 fib level as well so uh, tron had held these levels and and now we're looking at like bitcoin ethereum we're looking at this kind of upward movement in tron we could see resistance again at the 50 percent level um there's high, uh, previous high resistance as well um we're hoping it, it, it can go above it and then kind of move up but we'll have to see in tron again there's no trade currently so xrp was the trade that we played and um, you could look to buy the pullback and then or you could wait to see if it moves up so xrp is the most bullish one and it, and, and, and it's good to talk about it as well because when you make good trades and um, it makes you feel better and I tweeted about it and, and I'm not saying all of my trades are great because some people say oh you just tweet about it and, and you don't take the trade I actually take the trades guys and as you can see um, it, uh, on Bitfinex I took this trade um, and it was a good 5% profit I'm looking to uh, another uh, buy entry on a pullback so that's why there's a cancel order I didn't take it at the end but I am looking to buy on the pullback and because it, it could potentially see higher highs but we'll have to see when it when anything goes up so quick it always falls down and I'm not saying all my trades are winners guys in my previous trade um, let me scroll down and find that out for you is the ethereum classic trade that I took and this hasn't played out i have this trade hasn't gone up and and it's not won me any money yet but i i'm i'm, I'm really transparent guys i'm not trying to sell you any course uh, i i want you to follow subscribe and help me on my journey and i want to help you on your journey as well and um if you look at ethereum classic now where's ethereum classic i tweeted about uh, getting in at 1740 that's my i think that was my entry price and currently where is uh, 172 so i'm at a small loss I've, I've got my stop loss haven't hit yet so if bitcoin and the market moves up we could see higher um, ethereum classic moving up as well so that's a trade that hasn't played out as i would have liked but i've been transparent and i've been tweeting about it but you shouldn't just buy buy because I, I buy it you need to do your own research and learn and educate yourself so one way to educate yourself is learning from this guy Ray Dalio even if you don't trade and not into economics I highly recommend you listen to it um, and if you guys don't follow me on Twitter guys um, it's Rockstar Crypto give me a follow guys I talk about Bitcoin Ethereum and um, everything really and also just general uh, motivational stuff so yeah give me a follow on Twitter guys so thank you very much for watching this video guys let me know your thoughts and um, do you think xrp will keep moving higher or higher uh, what are your thoughts on bitcoin i'd love to hear your thoughts and um, if you have any questions about this technical analysis comment below and i will uh, try my best to answer your questions so thank you very much for watching this video guys if you have enjoyed it smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos on price prediction and also technical analysis which i'll be doing a lot of this week especially because i've got some uh, time on my hand also if you want to win hundred dollars worth of xrp subscribe to my channel turn on the notification button and leave your xrp address below so thank you very much for watching this video guys subscribe to my channel smash that like button and share this video with your friends and family we as early adopters need to talk about bitcoin crypto and blockchain to the world so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much